Hello again and welcome to this section vectorizing operations with NumPy. In this section we will talk about NumPy, what is NumPy and why we need it. We will talk about arrays which are the most important type of objects in the NumPy library. We will learn how to work with arrays, what are the most important methods and attributes that we can uh, use with arrays. And finally we will apply our knowledge and do some simulations to show you how we use NumPy in the real world. By the end of this section, we will get all the foundations that we need to work with other libraries in Python's data science stack like Pandas and Matplotlib. In this video, we will talk about NumPy, which is Python's vectorization solution. We will talk about what is NumPy, why we need to learn it, and we will give some motivating examples to show you why we need something like NumPy and the main problem it solves, okay? Alright, so here we are in a Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so before doing some computations, uh, let's talk for a bit about what is NumPy. And um, basically NumPy is the fundamental package for doing scientific computing with Python. It gives us the ability to create multi-dimensional array objects and we will soon see uh, how to use these array objects and what are they useful for. It gives us the ability to perform faster mathematical operations than we can do with base Python. And it is of course the base of most of Python's data science ecosystem. So uh, most of the other libraries that we use in data analytics with Python like uh, scikit-learn and pandas, uh, they rely on NumPy at their core. Okay, uh, and uh, we are not going to talk about advanced features of NumPy here, but uh, just to let you know, you can do uh, pretty sophisticated functions with uh, NumPy. Uh, it provides you with tools for integrating with lower level languages like C, C++ and Fortran. So if you need to do really high performance data analysis at, at a scale, and you need this code to run very fast, uh, you can integrate Python code with, uh, with, with these other lower level languages. And it also gives us the ability to do linear algebra, very complex mathematical operations like Fourier or transforms, and um, very complex uh, ways to do random number uh, generations and, and many other capabilities, okay? But those are uh, advanced features we will talk about uh, these features here in, in this course, okay? Okay, just to show you what is the type of problem that a NumPy solves and why we need to use it. Here I have a very simple problem, okay? Let's say that we have data about uh, distances and times, okay? So let's say that we have this data here and uh, for now they are in common Python lists. Okay, so we want to do some processing with this data. Let's say that we want to calculate the speeds. Okay, and, and the speed by definition is just the distance over time. So if we want to do this, uh, one approach might be to create an empty list in Python and then to write a little for loop and this for loop will append um, this operation, the distance over the time, and here you will get these speeds. Okay, so this is um, the new list that was created by doing this operation, uh, the distance over the time. And uh, of course, uh, there is a, no, a better way to do it, or, or a more Pythonic way to do it, which is to do a list comprehension. So you can write something like this and you will get the same result, right? Uh, d over t for dt in this zip object, okay? So this is traditionally the way we would solve this problem if we uh, need to calculate the speeds um, for this data. This is the approach that we will take in base Python, okay? Another example, let's say that you have product quantities here, a list uh, with product quantities, let's say that you are doing some analysis on shopping 
and uh, here you have the quantities and here you have another list with the prices okay to get the total of the purchase here uh, what you need to do is to multiply uh, every quantity by by the respective price and after doing all the multiplications you have to perform an addition okay so this is the code to do it uh, in regular python you apply the sum function to the quantity times the price and here uh, this is the, this um, code here is to generate and to do these uh, list comprehension that we usually use when we have to solve these kinds of problems in base python okay so if we run this cell we get that the total uh, is 157.1 okay this is the total cost of this um, set of quantities and prices it will be really nice if we could have the ability to just create or just to get uh, the speeds by saying okay the speeds are just the distances over the times okay that will be really nice you know as you can see here the, the code will be really clean and uh, the operation will be straightforward right and it will be really nice if we could say if we could define the total uh, in the second problem as just the product quantities times the prices and then you know just getting the sum of this multiplication so this would be really nice if we could do it but of course right now we cannot do it if I run this cell I will get an error okay because uh, base Python doesn't allow us to do this so you cannot divide a list by a list and you cannot multiply a list by a list so this is precisely the kind of operations and the kind of uh, mathematical operations that we can do with um, with NumPy. And this is what we mean when we say uh, vectorization. Vectorization means uh, operating uh, an array-like object, like a list, or we will see in the next video, uh, we will talk about arrays. Operate these objects doing operations element by element okay so this is what vectorization means and these are the kind of operations that numpy allows us to do okay so in this video you learn about what is numpy and why we need it